here and now. Ya Allah, if you take me before I exit this masjid, let me be a pure person. I seek forgiveness for all my sins. I change my life. Allahu Akbar. How many more scholars would you like to hear before you change your life? Before you decide to purify that heart of yours without an effort from you, the heart is not going to be purified. When you have your own kitchen and you've cooked your food and your pans are dirty, you cannot just look at the pans and expect them to become clean. Even if you've got a dishwasher, you've got to pick the thing up, put it into the dishwasher, choose the detergent, turn on the water, press the button, then things happen. Subhanallah. We still don't have that eye control, the eye control of the pan. And if you thought you did, they'd take you to the hospital. Believe me. <laughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us. So these are powerful words of reminder for myself to begin with. My brother, my sister, how do you use your Twitter account? What type of a profile do you have? How do you use your Facebook account? It can take you to paradise or it can drive you to hell very easily. Believe me, it's up to you when you press click and when you press like. And it's up to you to go home and dislike or to dislike it here and now whilst we're talking. Because I know there are brothers, perhaps maybe even sisters, busy on their phones whilst we're talking. To be honest, I actually don't see a single one, mashallah. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. So I need to swallow back my word. But this is what it is. If your heart is dirty, it begins to show your own self. You can see it. Your mind can figure it out. Why? Because you lead a life. What will happen to it? It will be full of bunk. You know, it will be so narrow, it's full of depression, full of stress, full of lack of contentment. Where is my contentment gone? It's gone with the pornographic sight. It's gone with the adultery that you cannot give up. Adultery is a seed. Wallahi, if you sow it and you water it, watering means you return to it. And you water it more, you return to it more, it grows a tree. When the tree becomes big and strong, it becomes more difficult to uproot it. You get hooked onto it to the degree that it, it's just like second nature. No regret thereafter until you die in a condition. May Allah safeguard us. We had some brothers who came to me some time back telling me, you know, what do we do? Our father was looking like such a religious man and he died in the midst of two prostitutes with beer bottles. Do you want that to be the end of your life? May Allah protect us all. Na'udhu Billah. May Allah safeguard us. Well, if that's the case, do not let that be a probability. Rather, let salah be a probability, possibility. If you engage in five salah, the chances of you dying in salah are very great. Do you know that? There are so many who have died in sujood and rukur. But if you don't read salah, there's no chance of that happening to you. Not at all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take us away whilst we are in His obedience. And may He protect us really that we are not disgraced dying in His disobedience.